Mate, look at these views. Got a lot of cows and all. So people, welcome to the next video. I know I'm puffing out of my ass, but we have just done some serious walking and we've still got probably another half an hour to go. I'm just gonna take the camera off my head to make sure I'm actually recording. Yes, I am. 100% go battery on a GoPro. Anyway, you can't see the beautiful views as well as I can. Yeah, look at the view. Look at the view. Look at we the are view. in where? Oh, that one is actually <laughs> doing a piss. Look at that, look. <laughs> I'm the, thanks, dear. Thanks, love. Yeah, cheers. Well. That's a bit harsh if you watching this. Love you, Paige. <laughs> so, guys, we're in Wales. And I mean, when I say we're in Wales, we are deep in Wales. Like, we couldn't be any deeper in Wales if we had our wellies on and we was... <laughs> and we was, and we was, yeah, the net sort of gives it away. But yeah, like West, West, West Wales. Now, we're here for three days. Tonight, we are fishing for... Uh, fish. 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 At the minute, fish. fish. At actual tope. We know somebody that's been fishing on this mark today. And he was fishing for the, um, for the, for the fish we were fishing for. Um, and now... He's told us that he didn't have none, so we may have just changed our species to dogfish. But no, nah, to be fair, we're out here tote fishing. We're out here tote fishing um, and also uh, bullus. So if we can get a bullus or a tope, we'll be happy. And tomorrow, because it's like eight, nearly nine o'clock at night, tomorrow we'll be moving on to another mark looking for trigger fish. And then we'll be moving on to another mark from that looking for maybe some rays. And then the next day or the next night or whenever that may be, I'm lost already. We'll be moving on to hopefully some Dover Soul on the Bristol Channel. But <coughs> plans do change sometimes. Well, look at that view, look. Look at that. Stunning, isn't it? Properly stunning. Anyway, I'm going to stop chatting. I'll see you when we get to the mark, show you the setup. Stop chatting and concentrate on breathing. Yeah, that's what I do need to breathe because. Because fat people. Oh, look, hold on, we're nearly at the mark, I'll show you it. I say we're nearly at the mark. Three of us carrying 10 pounds of lead. We're at a viewpoint for the mark. So, see that large rock over there sticking out? That's where we're going. Luke, hopefully that's where we're going. I really hope there ain't another one on the other side of that. There should be a beach down here. There should be a beach down here, sandy beach. There's a boat down there. Yeah, that's it. We're going over there. We are going out on that rock. In a bit, people. In a bit. What's happening, people? So we've stopped. We've come to a stop. We've got to walk down across this sandy beach and then out there onto that rock. Look how clear that water is. I'm really hoping the camera's picking it up. Down there around them rocks is so clear. Like, quite a way out, too. Um, it's low water, actually. No, it's not. Tide started just flooding. Wasn't it low water about seven, Luke? Uh, I can't remember. I know high is two o'clock in the morning. No. One o'clock in the morning. Looking. Twenty past one in the morning. So it's, I don't think it's about twenty past seven or something silly like that. But yeah, it's absolutely stunning. But it's a long, we're a long way up. A long, long way up. And we've got to go all the way down this bloody hill and then back up that hill, up over there. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, it's going to be something else. But, well, here's what it is. We will see you when we get there. So, um, <laughs> it's not for the faint-hearted. I've been to more comfortable ones, that's for sure. Look at it now. It's amazing. It's a piece of risk. There's rock marks go. This is pretty comfy. You're flat. Well, for a small space. But... Oh, we're only small people, aren't we? Great shout. Great shout. Stephen's a very small person. <laughs> Some of you are small. Um, yeah, right, people. Well, you ain't really going to see much more for a little while because I need to set up. We need to try and get some macro on. And darkness is falling. Um, we need bait sharpish we also need to get comfortable because obviously we're here till tomorrow afternoon um time now is what is the time now 21 39 so 20 to 10. but sorry to interrupt we are we are golden mate yeah i've got some in my too greg sausage rolls all the way bang on what you got steve uh, you got a mars bar and a snickers <laughs> unlucky right people in a bit fish from the off that's a dark one isn't it right it's only a dogfish people i've i've, I've already had a dogfish first truck and a whole squid on the tote rig, big and massive eight hooks. I ain't even caught that one. Steve's, Steve's looked a dog in a towel. I've, no, I've lassoed it. Look, you had a bite, didn't you? Yeah, I've Guys, what I want to show you is look how sketchy look. Look at the room. I, I know it, it's going to be better tomorrow in the daylight, but look, 
Luke's literally fishing over a ravine and that is that is a big drop down there um, and behind us it's like a flat cliff you can't you can't really there's no room is there Luke no, not really. It's I mean, it's, listen, it's. You just have your wits about you and you're sensible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. But look, what, this is. Well, yeah, no, but what I'm trying, I'm trying to create a, a mood here, Luke, that oh, we're sorry. like extreme fishing, it's dangerous yeah, no, and we're it being. Is, yeah, proper. It, well, it is. It, I mean, it is. But, well, I mean, I mean I guess just, uh, you know, just looking down there, people, I mean, you can't see. Me, but that's a long way down. That is a long way down. It'll be fine. And I mean, it's the thing not as is, if we're like close to a hospital or anything, is it? No, I mean, it's not like we're 45 minute walk away from the van and. Have they even got hospitals in Wales? I've heard they just got wellies and sheep. <laughs> Was that a bit far? Sorry, people. Sorry, I'm only joking. I love you all, really. Um, how are you getting on with that dogfish, Steve? I've actually lassoed it, mate. And it looks like it looks a bit weird what you're doing there with that dogfish, yeah. Steve. Uh, feels a bit weird as well, to be fair. When in Wales. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my little setup. Mackerel rod, phone. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, wheels. Oh, thought I was sorted. Still got one there. Can I see the one there? Lovely. That is my dinner. Literally, that is it. And a cut of strolls. Um. Not really what else to say. Um. If, if, if all we do is get dogfish during the night, I won't bother bringing you back. I'll bring you back tomorrow morning when there's something. Ah, ah, that good. All right, guys, so now it's phone. I've dropped a bit. No, don't run away, don't run away. So, apparently there's a problem with this, Mark, with spider crabs. So what we do, we elastic this phone to our baits, keeps it sort of popped up, which is a bloody great idea. Right, at the minute, we've got a problem with dogfish. Put them in there, keep them safe. Right, so at the minute, that's all I can show you. I'll run you through rigs and stuff what we've been using in the morning when it's um when it's light. But yeah, it's uh it's about half past ten, quarter to eleven, and it's just got dark. Um, I'm still in my shorts, still got my pins out. Steve's got rid of the dogfish finally. Yeah. It's only been twenty five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> right, people, in a bit. <laughs> what a mission. <sighs> Thanks, dude. So we've just done all that for my little hound. That's, I don't know, four or five pound. <sighs> no, 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 no. Ah! No! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> oh, dear. Thanks, Luke. No worries. Now I've got to go all the way back down now? Yeah, in a bit, people. Right, guys. Steve nearly just lost his rod. We're not sure what it is yet. I've got a feeling it's a, Steve, what's on that rod? Crab? No. Rag? Yeah. I've got a feeling it's going to be a... But it's a manky bit of rag. Tiny manky bit of rag. I've got a feeling it's going to be an hound, but honestly, I'll, I'll have to roll off the side of the cliff to grab his rod. Steve, don't lose this, because I've come down here just for you, my friend. Luke's gone down the cliff. Mick's here. Say hello, Mick. Hello, everybody. Daylight is coming. Hopefully. Hopefully daylight is coming. Yeah, daylight's definitely coming. We need some mackerel. Steve's now milking it. Is it giving it the beans, Steve, or what? Well, I'm trying. Oh. Oh. What we got? No. That's a ray, isn't it? Is that? That? Surely that is not a dog. Is it a good one? It's just... Is that is that a small smooth hound? Guys, I'm really sorry about right, the um Dude, I actually think it's like a two pound smooth hound. I can't believe that it's just taking that rod. <laughs> I don't think you had his on. I don't think you did either. I already forgot. Uh, oh oh Stephen. I look it down there, Luke and Pratt back, mate. You've you've let yourself down there. Right people. I um you see that? Probably can see that. Shall I sit Luke quickly? I know you're looking directly into my bright light, yeah. but well done Steve.
Blends in with your coat. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Does, it look, does it look like a big tote from there? No, it doesn't, no. It looks like a wanky smooth out. Oh. Right, well, it's now about, I don't know, half past four in the morning. Mix driven down from pretty much Scotland. Oh, I'm cold. I've had about three and a half minutes sleep. Where did, where was my bed? Where was I? Here, this little... So those two rocks there I was using as a pillar. This was my bed. But I had this sticking up my ass. Oh, I could have pulled it out. Um, so yeah, I, I'm currently I'm not fishing just because I'm not into catching dogfish and small smooth hounds. And there's not a lot else happening. So what I'm waiting for is daylight to properly come so I can get down on one of these ledges with some mackerel feathers, get some fresh mackerel, hopefully, fingers crossed, and then get out. Steve did catch a little pollock, which we've kept. It's going to go out as a as a fresh fish bait if we can't get no um, we can't get no fresh mackerel. Um, yeah, Mick and his boy Keaton are down here. They've set up down on this mark down there because there's no room up here. And to be fair, they look a bit more comfortable down there anyway. We're being very unsociable by kicking them down there. But as I said, you what, dude? Johnny. There's not a lot of room up here at all. Kicking the northerners even further south, that's the one. Um, so yeah, again, there hasn't been many updates through the night because it's dark and it's hard work to film. And the fact that you've been asleep. And I've been asleep, yeah. <laughs> I even had I even, I even had a couple of mouthfuls of Luke's Red Bull to try and wake me up. But another problem is we've had the hottest year on record. Um, but where I'm really, really skinny, I feel the cold and sleeping on it. Look, hang on, look, let me just show you. Look at what we're up against here, look, look at these rocks. Look at this, look. <laughs> it's crazy. This is really, really not the most comfortable mark. Um, and guys, uh, uh, I know I'll keep saying the mark, but that is all I can tell you because I've got no idea where, all I know is I'm on, on the side of a rock in Wales. Um, we parked in a country lane and we walked through some fields and, and that is the best I can tell you. Um, and blame Luke for Luke. This is just one of Luke's magical mystery tours. He's gone, oh, look, there's a rock there. That looks good. He's been Googling images and all that old malarkey. Um, and he's just gave me a, 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 a direction and said, go there. Um, so, yeah, here we are. That's where you want to be, Steve, on that tide line. So I said, surprise, out on that tide line. Guys, you can't see that tide line, what Luke's talking about. But I... Uh, Hell to the maybe I can, yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe you can just about. just about. But I love Steve, but he definitely can't. No, nah, it's a long way out. I don't reckon. To be fair, even I ain't hitting that. You know, I, I don't think I'm hitting half that. There's a tidal rip. We can just see it now. The daylight's coming, guys, and it's a long way out. A long way out. Right, well, I am going to, um, I'm going to leave you guys to it, because at the minute all I'm doing is walking around filming darkness, and you can't see a lot, so, hold on, let's see where this splash goes, yeah, halfway, um, oh, let me bring you back when it's daylight, right guys, daylight, daylight, daylight means Mackerel! Oh, look at that top one, Luke. That is sexy, isn't it? That is beautiful. Oh, mackerel. I've had a few. Um, Luke's had four now. I think he dropped some while he was down there. Um, but yeah, happy days. Well done, Luke, you boy. I've had to stop because my arm's aching. Mine are a bit dirty, then, Luke, so I've just been chucking them up here. But, fresh mackerel. They've been rolling around in the mud for now, what it means is I've got half a pollock on my tote rod that's out um, and I'm going to set up my other tote rod now and get that baited up with mackerel so we're fishing two rods of tote um, or I'm fishing two rods of tote and I'm going to keep going with the mackerel for a little while try and bag up if we can have sort of done 10-15 mackerel around, that gives everybody a bit of bait, Luke's got a few, I've got a few and it'll help Dave out up there um, the fellow that was here when we got here but he's been nice enough to help us out during the night. He fished this mark a couple of times before and he's 
told us a few things that have helped out. Obviously, Mick's down there. I think Mick's getting them. It was all it was all too much for this little one. Mick, how you getting on? Have you got? Have you had some mackerel though? <laughs> Alright mate, no dramas. Um, so yeah guys, well I'm going to get cut off because all these boys are working hard trying to catch some bait. Um, Mac you on? Oh alright, we'll just we'll film this live one then. How many on? Let's have a guess. One. Well, oh, I don't know. that's not good enough. That. Is there definitely one on there? Oh, don't know. oh dear. It's not wiggling anymore. You've lost it then. Is that what your sounds was Luke? No, no, we're going to film this. You've said there's Mackie on, so you've said it, mate. And if there's not, you have to do the uh, walk. You have to walk the plank. Foul. Right. That's it, guys. I'm going to set my other one up and get ready for a tope in a bit. Right, guys. Just going to quickly show I'm setting up a tope rod. So all we've got is a pulley rig with an 8.0. Sea glow cutto, which to be fair, you can't buy at the moment. They're in testing and they're mine only, mine and mine only on the bottom hook. Um, and on the top hook is one of the one of the big circles again, sea glow, which again, I still don't think they're out. Um, Luke, do you know what wire trace this is? Is it 100, 150? Right, so you've got a small piece, a lot of foot of 150 pound wire trace, doubly looped over and crimped up there. Hopefully you're seeing this and my camera angle is right. Maybe it's probably pointing a bit down, sorry. Um, connected then to 100 pound, uh, 150 pound bite trace and 100 pound rig body onto a Gemini splashdown and just a swivel as a pulley bead. And I'm not messing about putting clips on. I'm literally just tying it straight on. So I'm gonna whack this on, just an half blood knot if you like. Five or six turns, maybe seven, maybe eight pull it through the bottom, pull it tight, and that is, yeah, that is it, it's not coming undone, I'm not even going to bite the tag end off, because why, why should I, and then, we'll go in this box, move the Greg sauce roll, six ounce lead, on the Gemini splashdown, beautiful, that'll do, then, 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 this one we put a mackerel on. Also, another tip for this mark is, apparently during the day, there's a lot of spider crabs. So what we've got is this. Let's cut that off. This is a piece of foam that you put underneath your octopus tank in the garden. It's a bit big, so I'm just gonna cut that off. Now, I know there's gonna be people going, oh, you shouldn't be putting that in the sea. Meh, 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 meh. It's gonna go on a nook. It will come back. I pretty much can promise you it's coming back. So let's have a fresh mackerel. Um, it's hard because as soon as you cut it, it's going to pour out with blood. I hate that. But I'm going to cut it sort of about there-ish. Get two baits out of a mackerel. All that blood. And that is the problem. I'm going to lose it all. And I hate losing it. I hate losing it. Look at it. So much blood. So much blood. Um, and then, ouch, this big hook, this big hook can go just in the head, whack it around there, like so. I'm gonna, gonna lose so much of this blood. That one goes in there, loads and loads of bait elastic, like loads of it. So guys, this, this rig, and to be honest, all the rigs I'm using on this trip have all been put together for me by Gavman, from Gavman Shore Rigs. So I know 
obviously you've seen me mention him in the past and uh, I know a lot of you have used him since then um, but yeah it's a massive shout out to Gav because he's, he's, he's made rigs for all of us this week for this week me, Steve and Luke um, and he's sorted us out with our sole rigs because we're going sole fishing he's even made some rigs that he thinks especially for trigger fish that he's never done before he's just looked it up for us and he's gone beyond above and beyond really so yeah like I say he's massively helped us out Massively helped us out. As much bait elastic as you can possibly get on. I'm getting bored of it now. Now, this stuff is to help it float. So what I'm going to do is bring that up down, give it a twist, and then I'm going to. Where have they gone? They've gone, have they? Gone. They'll be back. Listen, you might not get another one for another hour, Luke, but they will get back. I'm gonna have a, t I'm gonna have, oh, I'm gonna have a mackerel rod set up the whole day, so we can all just take turns with it. So that has gone in now, underneath that, underneath the, uh, what do you call it? Foam can go on the top of that, over the top of that. Now, that doesn't look a lot. This will give it some buoyancy. It will help it move around in the tide. And it might just pop it up that little bit just to keep the spider crabs away. Although it doesn't look great, it's not very aerodynamic, it's going to cast like an absolute bag of potatoes. But, listen, all these little things help out. Loads and loads of elastic. And that will do. Now, the biggest thing I've done is wrong before I came I relined my new diver sorters reels I relined them and this one that I'm just about to, that I'm just about to cast out I haven't cast it out and sort of bedded it in so this might go horribly wrong look at that blood horribly wrong this might go to be fair but we'll soon find out Is that tide still really running, Dave? I don't know, I've got a water. Oh, have you not? All right, no dramas. Oh, it's a big, big drop here. Yeah. I do. She's going slowly. Terrible cast. Bites in the water. It's just at the bottom. So I click it in the gear, loosen a bit of drag off, put the ratchet on. Bit much. Still a bit much. Lovely. Oh, let's turn that off because that's annoying. Just winding the slack. The best thing about that is I've definitely landed on top of my other rod, which always helps. Great. Put the ratchet back on. And there we have it. Two tote rods out. Ready to go. And then we can still power a mackerel rod. Right guys, pile them. Bring you back in a bit. Right guys, just uh, see what Luke is. This is just, I'm hoping, I'm hoping you can see it. This is giving you an idea of how far up we are. You can see Steve up there on top of the rocks. You can see the drop down to Mick, down on the second ledge. And then the drop from Mick down to the water. It's quite a long way. Me and Luke have just come through and explored and just having a little look a bit further along and we've realised this is probably a better place to be fishing. There's a lot more room, it's a lot more comfortable. Um, 
yeah, it was very dark. Well, it was pretty much dark when we got here. But there's a big ravine down here. Look, let me just quickly show you that. Look at that down there. And I just walked out onto the end of that point, and when you look down, it's full of spider crabs down there. Loads of them. Um, so that would be thingy. Um, yeah, pretty, um, pretty savage indeed. Pretty savage. You just snapped it, Mick. Unbelievable. You give a northerner a rod, and he ruins it. Don't, don't give me that. Oh shit! <laughs> Sorry, just wearing. Right, I've got to go because I need to. I need to retie my mackerel rod. God's sake! Right, people, in a bit. What is he up to? <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> don't don't let the top of your new rod fall off. <laughs> oh dear, it's like Love Island but worse. <laughs> oh dear, in a bit. What's happening, people? What is happening? It's um. Well, I can tell you what's not happening here. It's not happening. Um, it's, a st uh, it's a stunning day. We just ain't had the fish we want. Um, to be fair, we was here targeting taupe. Um, Steve didn't really fish this morning, to be fair. We've got, we said we're gonna give it to about half past 11 to here, and start packing up. Time is 10 past 10. Um, Luke's really, I don't know if you, you having a fresh bait up, Luke, are you? No? You had enough? Um, well, there's a good shout, we're going now then. We're leaving a bit earlier than what we thought. Um, we're all absolutely hanging because obviously we, we haven't really been asleep. Well, I had 20 minutes laying there. Um, but yeah, we've now got to pack up all this gear. Back up there. And then, can you see that? You can probably see that yacht coming out of there. Over there. There's a headland there. And there's another little bay in there. And that other little bay, miles over there, is where we're parked, which is where we've got to walk back to. Um, and then we're going to go and find the services. Absolutely obliterate the toilet. Sorry, but not sorry. Um, and then find some food. And go and find this pier we're going to fish for the day. Um, so that will probably be the next video. Um, I don't think I'll, no, I'll probably, I will make another video. Um, yeah, to be fair, what we caught here, we could have caught at home, which is annoying, but you don't know these things. Unless you try. What? Pollock. Mackerel. Mackerel. And I caught more than them than you, so don't even start. <laughs> have you caught a pollock on a plug? Oh, actually, yeah. Just not just not, not for a long time. Yeah. Long, long time ago in Brixham, actually. But it was well before I started YouTube and all that. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's one of them things. It's one of them things you don't know unless you try. You're not going to catch them sitting at home on the sofa. Um, we've came. We give it a go. The trip is not over for us. We've still got to cut the marks yet. Cut the three marks. We're going to try catch them. Oh. What was that? Thunder. That weren't thunder. That sounded like the Eiffel Tower just fell over. <laughs> Mate, that was that was a savage. That was a, rumble, it? That was a proper rumble. <laughs> and that was a long way away and all. Um, so, yeah, guys, again, thank you massively for watching. Um, we have travelled six and a half hours to get here so I know we haven't caught many fish but I definitely think definitely think I deserve a sub if you haven't already um, and well look out for the rest of the Welsh videos because um, there's going to be a couple more in the next few days I will um, see you in a bit much love I brought you back just to show you the efforts we're going to to get back up to the top of this cliff <clears throat> So I've got my box on my back, Steve's box. Mick's passing stuff up to Luke. Luke's passing stuff up to Steve. Steve's passing stuff up to Keith and Mick's boy. King's got the easiest job. I know, yeah. <laughs> Standing there supervising. Supervising, eh? Yeah. And all the time, we're like mountain goats. Look at the steepness of that. And that's literally what we're up against. It's not, honestly, look at that. The width of my legs are spread apart. <laughs> And I say, I've got my box on my back, clothes on my back, my cool bag strapped to my box. I've got cool boxing salmon. Oh, Mick, man up, it's only, it's only half a ton. <laughs> I thought you northerners were hard. It's quite 
pulling this back, that's the thing. Yeah. Yes, I did. If he didn't tough, he's too far back. <laughs> well, what you want to do is get yourself up onto this next big step. Mm -hmm. If you can get up there, Mick, leave everything else yeah, and I'll pass it to you. Can. Just go easy. Once you get to that step there, with half an ounce on your back. I reckon I am. Honestly, not being funny, Reese, but I can jump over these things more confidently than you can in the nicest possible way, and I couldn't have them. It's only from a strong hand, I'm left handed. That's it true. Just, uh, it's only got a little bit in it. Shit! <laughs> 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 oh, mate, this is. This is our work. Your phone's in there, about 16 different bits. Nah, that's right. So, alright, Steve, we carry a box up while you're sitting at the top, sunbathing. Ready? Yeah, I think so. Well, I would be fucking taking the pits. I know, that's what I mean. What? Sorry for swearing. Tell you what, Steve, we're sharing Mick. some fucking weight out. Guys, again, sorry for Luke's potty mouth. Oh, potty. <laughs> it is what it is, it's one of them things. What, right, now? What, that I've got foul language? Yeah, sorry. you've got shocking language. You wouldn't, you would never catch me swearing. Bleep. Right, so this is what we've got our fingers. <laughs> fingers in the rocks. Right, guess that rucksack you've got. Are you sure? Yeah, honestly, you won't get up this bit, it's ridiculous. There's nothing to grab onto. I was going to grab hold of your through your shorts. No, I'm on my camera. Right, look, are you ready? Well, yeah. this is how uh, this mind. Not, not really, but um, not sure how this is even going to work. To be fair. No. Got some rope. Pull it up by the collar. Yeah. Man up, look. Man up, Luke. Are you ready? One. Not many pins I bring up the fridge. No, yeah. to be fair, don't make him laugh because he can't lift it. Right, Luke, you go up and get out of the way now. Oh, really? Yeah. Go oh. on. Off you pop. Hold on. <laughs> Did it drop it? I'm way, way too close to mix sweaty nuts. Oh, aye. I don't know what fucking Stephen. Stephen! <laughs> oh, wait, is that not the top? Stephen, <laughs> who Is that not the top, Luke? No! Oh, shut up. Honestly, I am being... I think I can see Keaton up the top. It is about halfway. Right, can you go any further, Luke? <coughs> so I can get up? I am Luke. I can, that's what I'm saying, can you go any further, Luke? No, because I'm waiting for Steve to move all the luggage. I thought you'd have done this by now. Steve, you've caused a catalytic clack. I know, he's proper messed up here. Um, um, uh, uh, what's he taking up? What's he taking up, his rod? Everyone's rods. No, you ain't. Oh, he is a rod. Rodney. Rodney, exactly. I'm hanging onto the side of a cliff like a mountain goat. I've got a fridge in my left arm. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even joking. It's a lot later than the one it was when I came down. Mm. It's an old fridge, you know, it's got heavy compressor in it. It hasn't, I've scrapped that. It's three litres of water gone out of that. <laughs> and uh, two seven ounce leads. That's mine. Yes, and some of that's getting offloaded into your feather white one. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, it? Steve, I'm recording. Suck your potty mouth. Sorry. Right, can everyone just stop faffing around? Because I am. You're the one faffing. I'm not. You're holding me up. I would have been back at the van by now. I'm precariously positioned on the edge of. Mate, have you seen what? Have you seen what I'm standing on? <laughs> oh, a lovely flat ledge. Oh yeah. Oh, if you can call that next to my size 12 foot, a lovely flat ledge, and then it's a 4,000 foot drop to my death. <laughs> Go, on, Mick. Oh, I'm going to get a massive view of Mick's rectum. Steve, I swear, if I hear you swear again, oh, I'm going to wash your mouth out with petrol. No, it won't be petrol. Petrol's expensive. Right, there's a step. There's a step. That's a step there. I've just grabbed some of shafts. Yeah, that would be a prickle bush. You don't grab that. Right. No. There's one. Step there. One, two, step. Oh, look at it, look. Why have I got such big feet? Race, Where was that prickle bush? Race, seriously, you ain't going to do it with your box on. I've got it. I've got a step here. Let me hold your hand. Come on, then. Obviously, like... Just... I've got a step, though. Yeah, no, you just... I just need yeah, to get this foot on that step. You ain't got nothing there, do you? I don't want to take my box off. I want to just get up there. Right, one, two, three. I'm up. That's it, I've done it, I've done it. Go on, let go. I'm good, right. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I am good. Now I'm on my knees. 
I'm used to being yeah, on my, used to being on my knees. Yeah. Way. Do you know what? I'll tell you what, we'll never come back to this mark again. <clears throat> I know Luke, you will. I know you'll be here next week. Because the thing is, guys, right, do you know what we're here? We're out for three days and Luke ain't even told his missus he's coming. <laughs> I have, yeah. Don't watch it in front of her, we are. I think she does watch your videos. No, don't watch. Like your missus watches my videos. Sometimes. Hates you going fishing. Yeah. So, so, like, she wants to watch it. So, Luke's, Luke hasn't said. Oh, so, so, what he's going to be able to do is next week he'll be like, oh, I haven't been fishing for three weeks. So can I go next weekend, love? Yeah, but we are still in uh, April, aren't we? Or June? It's April, June, isn't it? April, yeah, it's April, June, yeah. yeah April, June. It's April, June. It's just like 35 degrees, Luke. Yeah, it's that really hot week that we've got in. Like, in. in <laughs> Nothing to do with, yeah, fair oh, dues. Oh, sorry, dude. I'll just take the fridge for you again. It's <laughs> <laughs> <That's> fine. <laughs> Is it all plain sailing from here or what? No, you've got a net to carry. Yeah, that's alright. Mick, what? Fancy grabbing hold of the bloody brambles again. I won't get all the brambles in this thing. Well, I've got the net now, have I? Brilliant. So I've got the net, I've got my box on the back. I've got my rods. You know what would be easier? What? If we stayed here for like three to five days. Yeah, to be fair, guys, so this is the sort of mark, really, you need to stay here for like, yeah, at least five or six days. Have your mates day. have your mates bring your food and drink up and you just sit here, basically, while, while, um, while different friends turn up and have a fish with you. Um, but to be fair, we're pretty much at the top and you're probably really bored of us going up and down this cliff now and they're rinsing the shit out of each other. No, they're waiting for one of us to roll back down. <laughs> Yeah, you know what, so I'll keep filming just in case someone does die. Well, yeah, that would be helpful. Yeah, no, I'm going to keep filming just in case someone dies. Because, I mean, that would be like a first on YouTube. Hold on. Hold on. What? You can't be responsible for anyone else trying to do this, can you? No, that's why I haven't said exactly where we are. No, I know, but... We parked on Smith Street and walked from there. Yeah. Um, because I don't want... What I don't want is I don't want people coming to this mark and breaking their leg because... I don't want to be held responsible. That's, that's what I'm um, so hey, yeah. Hey. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it with the amount of sweat pouring off your head, Mick. <laughs> <laughs> you want to sit your head in the fridge, then, son? <laughs> Guys, when I say fridge, you literally has got a fridge. Where is the actual door? Oh, what I would like to say, Steve, why are you just sitting there watching us do all this, love? 90% of the gear's still down the cliff while you're sitting there sunning yourself. Sunning yourself, yeah. Looking at the people out on the kayaks. Yeah. Caught the net, the rods. Not been funny, but I've felt the weight of your box, Steve. And it's considerably... He's even left his jumper... Than mine. Look. He's even left his jumper down here. Have I? Yep. Oh, Steve! I swear to God, I'm going to slap his ass. I mean, his bum. Yeah. I'm not getting up that one with my box on my back. I ain't getting up that one with a 30 foot ladder. That's a light one, that one. Light one, yeah. Yeah, it's a light one. Go yeah. easy with that. I'll, I'll tell you what, you say yeah, you like, you'll think you think, I'd love you to see you carry my box. Who carried 60 ounces in a day, Luke? Man up. 60? It's like when you catch a fish at Gillingham Pier, Steve. First of all, it was a pound, and by Tuesday next week, it was 15. Uh, 10 six out legs make 60, doesn't it? Yeah, I suppose it does, yeah. In all fairness, I can say, you have all of this! Didn't even use them. It's not summer holiday, Steve. I can see everyone's sweating, and I feel like I'm brand new, like a machine. Brand new structure. No, nope, you can stick your rucksack. Steve. Right yeah, watch in. Watch out a minute. Watch out, watch out. Pull me back down. Yeah, no, to be fair, Luke, that does yeah, weigh more on him. Big shoulder mallet. Uh, mackerel. It's the wind. Oh, no. There is some dodgy lines. Yeah, well, that's too... That's gone. Come on. I need to get out of here, boys. I'm sweating. You want to grab that burger and leak off? Right there. Keaton, give it a go. I can't do it. I don't think I will, mate. I'll be completely honest with you. Are you ready? I will be completely honest with you. Just grab it one hand and pull it up on that ledge. One. Help. Right. Man, them ledges are fall out. 
you go to the top one. You go to the top one. Right, Mick. Luke, whoa! <laughs> Mick, can you pass him up my rods, mate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should have just grabbed it by the rods. I've got Steve's heavyweight jacket here, look. Oh my bad, they're all shit anyway. Rubbish, I mean. And now. Go on, chuck it in there. Oh, mate, I should play for the NBA. Oh, my back's got off you like that. Won't be. Yeah, I can't feel it. Are you coming up with yours on? I've, I don't know, I don't know if I can. Well, you'll get through, but. <coughs> what, because I'm only skinny? Look how far up we've come. We can't even see the ledge we're fishing on when we come up this, guys. Jesus, I'd like to push, but. Push the button. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have a poo. No. no just gonna, gonna have a poo. No. Oh, st <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got full view of the bottom of your ball sack. <laughs> Hold up a minute. Hold up. Ha, gents, anyone? Anyone? So like, there was loads of people just a minute ago, and now it's just little old me down here, you've all done one. I've just said to you, no. are you keeping that on your back? And you said, I'll try. Yeah, well, exactly, well don't run away. I'm only little. Yeah. Luke, I don't think it's gonna happen, dude. I can't get my leg up that no, way. Just kiss your hand. Yeah but, where am I, uh, yeah, but where am I gonna put my feet, Luke? That's not gonna help me. You, you ain't gonna lift me in my box. No, no, but I'll steady your hand, won't I, look. Yeah. Yeah, but I still ain't got nowhere to thing, mate. Go on, Hang on, wait, 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 don't pull, don't pull. Let me get my foot up there. Right, wait, T well, I'll tell you I've just pull. got you, yeah? Pull, pull, pull. And yes. also, I'd just like to remind you, this is the hand that I just cut my balls with. Yeah, no, that's absolutely fine. I'll tell you what, he's just cupped his balls and beautiful. Right, right people. Well done, lads, well done. <sighs> Hold on, I'll say ain't up. You sound well turn done. Around and show him like <laughs> no one died. Look at this. That's pure savagery. Look at this. That way over there is Kent. That way over there is Essex. <laughs> no, that's a lie. Somewhere down there, Cornwall, and somewhere over there, America. Right. Um, right, boys. Let's go fishing again. In a bit.